Okay, guys, welcome back. This is Tony Fergie back at you. Let me take the time out to thank all my subscribers. Let me start by saying thank you to y'all. Guys, y'all know my blood is boiling. But guess what? I'm going to let y'all watch it. And then I'm going to let y'all comment. Let me see if your blood is boiling too. Tuh. All this talk of illegal migration in Europe... In the United States, it ultimately comes down to a contest of what is governance. Who is governed, which countries are governed well. And if so many of these countries around the world are incapable of governing themselves, then, then it's time for us to just put to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say, we're gonna govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves, because enough is enough. We're done being invaded. Because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly. National security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a their second. country hold a on. better People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. Enough. Because I, I, you, if you go to these countries and you see how they suffer under absolutely corrupt, made-up governments that are just criminal syndicates, the people of Africa, the people of Latin America, a lot of them deserve better. Now, some countries are really getting it together. Look at what El Salvador did. Bukele, murder capital of, 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 of Latin America, he said it had been assassinated, but um, uh, new guy gets elected. He announces he's contracted with the same building contractor that they built the prisons in El Salvador, Going to build them in Ecuador. The prisoners there, the, the cartels revolt and try to take over the capital uh, in Ecuador a couple weeks ago. So it's not all bad. There's some great governance. I, I, I like, I, I like at Argentina. God bless Mille. I mean, yes. So, but the countries that cannot fix themselves, particularly in Africa, the worst, it's time to think about other governance options because they are clearly not capable of self government. Okay, y'all. Hmm. Let me tell you what I think. You're saying that Africa is not able to govern themselves? I'm sorry. Is the West capable of governing themselves? Let's start there. This man just said, hmm, they're coming in illegally. I'm sorry. How did you guys get here out in the West? Okay, now, did this man just said, we need to colonize Africa again? That was bold, sir. This is 2024. Oh, you don't realize the shift. You're looking for a response from us. You're trying to draw energy. We're not going to give it. You know why? We know the shift has begun. We know what time it is. Oh, you're speaking and you're waiting for a response from us. You're not going to get it. This is all you're going to get. Because at the end of the day, we know where we stand. We know the shift has begun. We know what time it is. There's no way you're going to get the opportunity to colonize Africa again. It's over. It's done. Burkina Faso, continue doing what you're doing. Mali, continue doing what you're doing. All the other African countries, y'all need to join in. Join in. Become one. Because the only way they can't separate you if you are together. But once you're segregated, it's easy for them to dissect and do what they're doing. Let's have one Africa, one law, one president, one currency. We can be stronger together, y'all. Anyways, type what y'all think, but don't give them much energy. They don't deserve it. We know what time it is. Right back at you, Tony out. Thank you guys for coming back. You have a pleasant day.